Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now I am reading the question. A loop carrying a current I clockwise is placed in XY plane in a uniform magnetic field directed along the Z axis. The tendency of the loop will be to option A move along the X axis, option B move along the Y axis, option C shrink and option D expand. So this particular problem is based on the concept of uh, finding out the force uh, in a current carrying loop uh, placed in a magnetic field. So the situation is like this. There is XY plane. This is XY plane. In this particular plane, there is a circular loop, for example, a circular loop. In this particular loop, there is a current which is flowing in the clockwise manner, in the clockwise direction. And the magnetic field is given along the z axis. So it is uh, and that the z axis, z axis means the positive direction of the z axis. If it is not given, whether it is positive and negative, then we have to choose it as z as positive direction of z axis. So this is the value of the uh, magnetic field. Now we have to find out what will be the tendency of the loop. Tendency means whether uh, it move along the x axis whether it move along the y axis whether it shrinks means uh, goes in this direction or whether it expands whether it expands so this is the question now in this particular problem we use the concept that f equals to i l cross b i l cross b for a particular current carrying loop we can use this particular formula the force is equal to i l cross b now if we choose a certain element of this particular loop and uh, calculate the direction of force then the direction of force is given by the vector cross product now the vector cross product states that suppose we have a vector a and we have a vector b then a cross b the a cross b direction is like this first of all we have to place our hand in this direction and move along the second vector then the direction of the thumb will give us the direction of force in this manner we can say that if we place our if we place our hand like this in the first vector and move it along the second vector that is the b vector then the direction of the thumb will give us the direction of force in this manner this is the vector l this is vector b then the direction of force is like this perpendicular to both l and z this is suppose this is xy plane the loop this current is flowing in this manner this is vector l vector this is b vector then f vector is towards the center of the loop so in this way we can see that this element is feeling a force which is going towards the center. Similarly, if we take another element, then the direction of force is like this. Similarly, we take the element like this, then the direction is force like this. So it is always towards the center. In this way, we can say that all the elements of this loop experience a force which is tending towards the center. In this manner, we can say that the loop tries to shrink. So we can say that the loop will shrink. So option C is correct here. Option C is the correct option. So hope you understand this problem. Thank you.